Welcome back to another video. Where we left off, my garden was looking very ugly. I tried digging up and around, trying to get all the roots and rocks out, but it was pretty futile. Didn't look like it was gonna be weed free, so I kind of scrapped that idea. So what I'm gonna need to do is get my own planter boxes and my own soil and start from there. If you're like me and your hard material skills peaked in intermediate and you don't know how to make your own box, I recommend using old dresses. So I bought this one for $2 off Trade Me and I'm planning on buying some more. I also found these two whilst delivery driving, one being an old TV cabinet and the other being a deep, perfect bookshelf. Uh, these will make for some awesome planter boxes. I'm pretty excited. I'm feeling pretty spry today. I, I don't know if you could tell. Just about to head off to Mitre 10, get some soil and compost, fill these bad boys up and get them prepped and ready for planting. Let's go. So I marked out a space I want to put my garden, but I just wanted something under it all to stop the weeds from growing up through. I also wanted something to raise the beds so that these wooden boxes don't just get destroyed on the wet ground. This is a broken corrugated iron fence I found at the back of my place and the grooves on it should be able to raise the beds and allow for some water to move out under them. Speaking of irrigation, you're going to want to drill holes in the bottom to allow water to seep through, which is what I'm doing here. I managed to borrow that drill from my neighbour, so cheers for that Richard, I'll be sure to send you some veggies. <laughs> Now this next step is pretty important, which is placement. As you can see, the sun isn't where it was in the morning when I laid on the fence. So here yeah, I'm spending quite a lot of time trying to organize my beds, consider what I'll grow in them and their size and height so that each box isn't blocking any others. Get your bearings of where east and west is to make sure your beds get full or at least most of the day's sun. My granddad also recommended to use these black rubbish bags to stop the paint on the edge of the boxes from leaching into the soil. I don't know how important this step is, but I'm just doing it to be safe. Um, I also cut little holes at the bottom to allow the water to fill through. You may have noticed that uh, one of the boxes doesn't have a, a side, as you can see there. So I um, broke this piece from the other box, uh, slip that in there, and then broke the middle pieces as well, just to make a, make a barrier, kind of. It got pretty windy, so I had to use these bricks to hold down the plastic bags, but I'd recommend using tape straight away. <laughs> now, time for the soil. What I'd been recommended was for my soil mixture to be about 60% topsoil and 40% compost. Mine were roughly that, the back box was closer to 50-50, so I guess we'll just see how that one goes. If you are like me and you find it difficult calculating volume and how many litres of soil will fill up your box, 
there are calculators online where you plug in the measurements, but I didn't have a tape, so I kind of just poorly guessed. If you wanted to know for your projects, the little four drawers on the right there took about 7.5 litres of topsoil and then 5 litres of compost each. Most bags of compost that you can buy are in 40 litre bags and topsoil in 25 litres. So if you have four drawers like I do, just buy one bag of each and save the extra compost for later on. Those two bags will cost you about $15 max, which isn't too bad for starting out. Just make sure to mix through your soil and you're pretty much done. So there you have it. These boxes are ready for planting right away. I just need to buy some seeds first and some potting mix, but I'll do that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I challenge you now to find an old dresser in your house, a sunny space on your lawn, and start growing your own veggies. It's the perfect time to start growing now, so give it a crack and let me know how you get on. Just a final disclaimer, for anyone new watching, this is my first season to growing ever, so not too sure how well this will go, we'll have to wait and see. Thanks a ton again for watching the whole thing, and I'll catch you in the next episode of this green thumb idiot learning to garden. <laughs> Thanks guys.